Today we bring you the Kasambi sensor. Check out its daylight effects and settings. We have a light here. Use it to simulate ambient light. We can adjust the brightness of the lamp to simulate changes in ambient brightness. Let's look at the first effect, the basic, on-off. When the ambient brightness is higher than a certain value, the lights will turn off automatically. Let's increase the ambient brightness. When the ambient brightness is higher than 1200 lux, the light connected to the sensor will turn off. When the ambient brightness is lower than a certain value, the light will turn on automatically. Let's decrease the ambient brightness. When the ambient brightness is below 150 lux, the light connected to the sensor will turn on. Take another look. When the environment is bright enough, such as during daylight, the light connected to the sensor will turn off. And when the environment becomes dark enough, such as at night, the light connected to the sensor will turn on. Let's take a look at how to set it up. Create a new scene or double click to edit an existing scene. Click to select the light and continue. Next, click on daylight control, mode selection. Choose the basic on off controlling sensors. Select the sensors you want to use. Now, let's set the following parameters. Minimum dim level. This determines the minimum brightness level. If set to zero, the light will turn off when the environment is bright enough. If the value is greater than zero, the light will remain slightly lit and won't turn off. Switch on at 150 lux. The light will turn on when the ambient light level is below 150 lux. Switch off at 1200 lux. The light will turn off when the ambient light level exceeds 1200 lux. Done. Click back, save the settings, and then enable the scene. Next, let's look at the second effect. Maintaining constant illuminance. When the ambient light level decreases, the light connected to the sensor will increase its brightness to supplement the ambient light. You can see, as the ambient light level decreases, the brightness of the light will increase. When the ambient light level increases, the light connected to the sensor will decrease its brightness in order to keep the light level around the sensor constant. Let's see how to set it up specifically. Check the light, click continue, click daylight control. Select the external mode. In controlling sensor, check the sensor. You can enable use the full dim range. You can also set the change rate. Click response graph and adjust the curve to look like this. Click back, save the settings, and then enable the scene. Done. Next, let's look at the third effect. When the ambient light level increases, we can see that the brightness of the light connected to the sensor also increases. In other words, the higher the ambient light level, the brighter the light connected to the sensor. As the ambient light level decreases, we lower the ambient light level. You can see that the lower the ambient light level, the dimmer the light connected to the sensor. Let's see how to set it up specifically. Double click to edit the scene. Check the light, click continue, click daylight control. Select the external mode. In controlling sensor, check the sensor. You can enable use the full dim range. You can also set the change rate. Click response graph and adjust the curve to look like this. Done. Click back, save the settings and then enable the scene. When the ambient light level increases, the brightness of the light connected to the sensor will also increase. When the ambient light level decreases, the brightness of the light connected to the sensor will also decrease. This is the kind of effect we're looking at. Increase the ambient light level. The brightness of the light connected to the sensor will also increase together. That's all. Thank you. Bye.